super excited yeah. to be here with you. Known each other for a while through the channel. Yes, sir. I am so hyped to be formally working together with Thread and Seven Figure. You have an incredible community. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. I think we're doing some cool things. I think uh, working together, we're just going to help uh, MSPs uh, be a lot more efficient and you know, work with their customers in a cool way. It's a pretty exciting product. I, I mean, you told me about it, and I had not heard of it before. Yeah. And then just hearing all of the, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like you're creating a category that yeah. the MSP is going to work on. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of opportunity here for you guys, and I'm excited to, to be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you ran an MSP, you work with MSPs all day, every day. Like, I think you get the need to meet the customer where they are. Yeah, I agree with that. And, you know, one of the things that I, mean, I, I think back to my days uh, in my MSP, and I was, it was about 11 years that I had mine. Yeah. And uh, that was one of the hardest things because we just had to resort to email or phone calls all the time. Totally. You know, text was a little bit of a thing. I, I sold the MSP in 2015, so yeah. you know, we're coming up on eight, eight years ago. Yeah. And um, it was harder. So the fact that you're doing this in tools that the MSP and the client are already using, yeah, it's just going to make it a lot more collaborative and I think a lot more efficient. Yeah. So I, you know, I think tools should allow people to work the way that they naturally want to work. If you have to work around your tools, you're not going to have a good time. It's just going to be less efficient. Stuff's not going to happen the way it's supposed to. Well, and what, what I think happens with the client, the MSP client, is they start avoiding getting help because yeah. it's a hassle. Exactly. And if you can eliminate that, yeah. It's 90% of that. Yeah, and at the same time, a lot of what we're doing on the back end with making things more efficient, getting the text out of the PSA. PSA is still home base. We're yeah. not getting rid of that. You know, tickets are meant to log time. They're meant for billing. Yeah. They were never meant for communication. So allowing people to communicate in a way that's built for collaboration and communication. But still tracked, right? Still, exactly. Still fully tracked. Yeah. Still managed. If it's not in the PSA, it didn't happen. Like, it yeah. needs to be there. Yep. Um, and one big piece that we're doing is also going in to the Teams or Slack channel of the MSP and making sure that all of that communication lands back in the PSA. Because, you know, how many times did two techs talk about something? Nothing's that, there. Nobody knows. And then that one guy's out sick or both of them are out sick or something. Or yeah. that person leaves. And it was in their DMs and, or something. And it was always in their DMs and then they don't know. Yeah, I agree. So, so across the board, allowing people to work the way that they want to work. And then, you know, you mentioned service collaboration is the, the category that we're thinking about. So collaboration with that end user, but also collaboration within the MSP and with the techs and vice versa. Like the techs can at mention other techs that they're working with. But then on the customer side, there's a site contact. So you can get approvals, you can send things down to the right people. And again, it's all being logged back. I think. Man, first of all, creating your own niche in an industry that's this big is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that a lot. But it also, it kind of gives not only thread of Blue Ocean, but think about all, this is another big factor. The MSPs that's using, that is actually using thread has a massive opportunity, of, an advantage, yeah. a differentiator over their competitor because of this communication piece. It's a, and yeah. they can bring it on in sales. I'm a sales coach. hundred percent. So I can, we can bring this out and say, hey, this is something that we do. This is how we make it. And then we document everything. Yeah. It's a, and that's a security yeah. benefit too. Like it's, it's things that, I'll be honest, I wouldn't have thought about it. And then you think about it, oh, duh. Yeah, that's it's, how it should right? happen. That's how it should Why happen. has it not happened that way? Exactly. All right, so, so we've talked about Threadstone. I love Seven Figure because I'm a sales guy too, mm -hmm. you know, so. Tell it, like, why is Seven Figure awesome? I know why, but t tell us why it's great for MSPs. Well, let me back up why it's, I mean, we, we are great. <laughs> I'm not going to admit that. But back up one second and okay. into what we actually do, just so maybe some of you guys know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell but us about it. But we're MSP sales coaches and trainers, and we have a very specific cybersecurity first approach. Yeah. Every relationship starts with a cybersecurity risk assessment. We have all the systems and the tools and the processes and the templates and all the stuff to make that all together. But then why do we have such a good relationship and, and an opportunity? Number one, all of our training has resulted in, and, and we've known each other for a while. Yeah. I know you're in some of my Facebook communities. Yeah. You've seen the wins that we have. Our guys it's are having crazy. really good success. Yeah. But those wins also, it kind of feeds over into a really great community. 
Yeah. I know you've been to a couple of my events that we have. We usually have uh, four big events per year, one per quarter. Yeah. And just the relationships that are there and we're thinking on different things. It's not just about the tech and it's not about the tools or even, you know, generating clients. It's about making money and being a successful business person. Yeah. And that's, you know, sales is great, but if you don't have good process and strategy and all those things on top of it, yeah. and then you add that community aspect in, that's what makes us, that's the why. Yeah. I agree. Again, having been to, to your shows and in the community to a degree, yeah, the way that you guys collaborate, I mean, people Great. celebrating cool. the MRR that other people are bringing in yes. and, and the numbers, yes. like I know, I don't know if, how much you talk about this, but $300 a seat, right? Like that's a big that's thing. That's kind of our staple thing. And, yeah. and, and for those of you that are, are seeing this, the whole concept is most MSP is sitting out there selling kind of based on this break fix mindset and yeah it's not necessarily that you're selling that way but it's that the client views you as a project-based break fix place so our goal is to move the relationship of the msp over to a risk manager yeah now all that other stuff's still included yeah. but let's focus on that and when the normal msp selling the old way comes in it's like 68 dollars a seat on average is what they're selling for yeah. Worldwide, and we have clients all over the world. That's what we see. As they're on our program, three to six to nine months, they're averaging two seventy-five plus. Uh, we just had a guy close a fifty-seat deal for twenty-something a seat. That's awesome. And yeah, it's an all-inclusive single-stack seat. But the concept is putting it all in one bundle and being the manager of all of it. Yeah. And one, kind of one of my questions that I give MSPs a lot is they talk about this good, better, best, or how can it be cheaper, or I don't need to do this. Yeah. And I ask, let's break it down to basics for a tech guy. If you were in a place where budget was no issue, unlimited budget to every client, would you put in the cheapest or the best? <laughs> You'd put in the, because almost no MSPs are bad people. No. They want to do the best, but they have all these limiting factors. You eliminate all that and build the community on top of it. I love it. And yeah. what you guys really focus on is giving that end customer what they need in the full package. What they should have. Yeah, right? absolutely. And again, going back to the, the MSP is not a bad person, No. but because we've been dealing with price objection, because yeah. we're not focusing on risk, and risk is a huge, best opportunity we've ever had in this industry is right now. Yeah. So we go to the client, do an assessment, start with an assessment. Yeah. What should they have? Yeah. Which includes threat. Totally. Yeah, I mean, you think about communication. If you're going to them and it's like, all of this is incredible, but by the way, you have to email us to get any help. Like, or you have to pick up the phone to submit a ticket. Right? Exactly. That it gets is... more outdated by the day. No one wants to work that way. Right. And you got MSP clients that are wanting to eliminate because they can't they can't get help in the, the way they want. So yeah. I, think it's, I think it's a huge opportunity for the brand new category for you guys. Very excited about it. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great partnership. So excited about the uh, you know the special that we have for your uh, your elite members. Yes, sir. It's, it's going to be a big deal. So very excited as well. We got a lot more to do. Absolutely. I can't wait. Thanks, Chris. Yes, sir. To another level.